Hi guys, so welcome back to Shafat's YouTube channel. So if you got news to this channel, I just wanted to say hello to Shafat. So as you can see, um, Fat Otiha is not here with me to film this video due to this pandemic. So we decided to just make our own video and post it on Shafat's YouTube channel. <laughs> So as you guys can see from the title, today's video is going to be 5 things I would tell my 16 years old self. Um, I just want a disclaimer as you guys can see that I filmed this video in the car because I don't have like a perfect spot or like lighting in my house so car is the best solution for now. So don't judge, okay? So actually, I was contemplating whether I should post this video or not. Um, but after I think it like a couple of times, I think I should because I can watch it later. And this can be like some motivation for someone who's younger than me. Um, so yeah, don't judge, okay? So I have everything in my notebook. So if you guys are wondering where I got this, so this is actually my birthday present, my 17 years birthday present that I got from my sister and it got my nicknames on it, Erin. So if you guys would like to get this book, uh, you can go to the Sarah Hanum design. I'll put the link down below where you can get this, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. First point is don't live for someone else. When I was 16, I was so busy trying to be everyone else until one day I got so lost in it. I feel like in the end of the day, who actually am I? Just remember that your worth comes from your Allah and not here from IG likes, comments and something like that. Um, just remember that high school popularity is truly and honestly doesn't matter. Like legit, it doesn't matter at all. I didn't like exactly strive to be popular, but I do definitely care about how people view me. So yeah, just remember this in your mind, okay? Nobody, I mean nobody's in real life is like really care whether you are popular or not back then. You do you. Live your life the way you want it. If you feel like you want to go out of your comfort zone, just go, um, take a risk, take chances because we never know until we go through that, right? So just go. My point is just keep your circle small. I know this is like very, very crucial for you to just keep your circle small, to just like drop off your toxic friends. You don't even need like 12 friends in a row. For me personally, if I can turn back time to my 16 years old self, I would just tell myself, sure, you know, you only need about three to four friends and that's it. Um, I feel like you'll find like good and close friends will come once you allow to yourself to open up about who you are and i believe that you will find like a best friend who can calls you at 1 a.m talk about like so many random things about their life about your life and definitely you will find that group of friends who constantly bring the best in you and also happy having you around them you don't even need to waste your time and energy for someone who's kind of like love to belittle you they don't even need you okay and think about how allah values you think about your core values that is so important in the life okay just keep your circle small um focus on the good I think like if we focus on the good, the bad doesn't get as much limelight because we only focus on the good. Okay, I give you an example. Talk about um, nice things when it comes with someone who are not there because they are not there to defend themselves. So I think when we talk something nicely about someone, the fate, the bad will fade definitely. Yes, and I know sometimes when people try to dig up or invade our privacy. That is so annoying. Sometimes I get so pissed off. When I was 16, I was so pissed off when some people try to like dig up my past, try and dig up my own privacy, which is that's so annoying. They, they just want to use it just to against you and that's it. Just don't worry about that. You don't even like need them in your life. Just focus on the good. We can't run away from it or neither do anything about it. No matter who you are or like a public figure or just like a simple person, we can't do anything about it. Can't turn back my time to my 16 years old self. I just like ignore. Don't let them have your attention. Just let them be. Like these people are nobodies and you don't owe them any explanations, okay? 
um, you have to remember that not everyone has the same heart as you. So you do you. Last but not least is forgive and forget. I think sometimes forgiveness comes in stages. You will definitely contemplating whether to let go or holding on for like a couple of times before you're ready to move on. And that was me when I was 16. I will... I always like contemplating whether I should just let go or I just keep it into myself and sometimes it gets into my nerve. It totally messed up every single day. So I think um, the hardest part is forgetting but once you learn to forgive and move forward then that's when you can forget. Um, I know it's easier said than done but just don't waste your time and energy on something that's, that is unnecessary things and don't waste your time for someone who doesn't need it. Okay. My last point is just be realistic. When I was 16, I try to be someone who always want to be positive in my life. Uh, which is, you know what? Being positive all the time is exhausting. And I think like I'm just being mean to myself because um, I don't know. I'm just trying to be positive. I try to be positive for the sake of someone's satisfaction. Try to be positive because I want to be fit in in society's expectations. I think it is good for us to change from being positive all the time to something that is more realistic, something that we can hold on to, something that is so brings so much sense in your life. And remember that don't be positive all the time just because you want to please people. Okay, don't please anyone. Just be you. I think it's okay to be positive but not all the time because I think that's a bad thing. I think it's not a really, really good thing if you want to be positive all the time because you might get, you might hurt yourself because when you're being positive and you put high expectation on someone, um, probably you're going to face all the disappointments in your life. And that's it all for today thank you so much for watching this video actually i'm recording this video on the first day of ramadan so i just want to say happy fasting to everyone and don't forget to subscribe comment and give the love to this video um we are just like newbie in this kind of like youtube thingy so please don't judge and support us because we have been wanting to do this since a really long time but we don't have like the courage to do so so oops so whatever it is, um, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, comment and share the love. Bye!